Today, the supermarket is crowded. The shelves are full. There's just a small space for me to squeeze into. With the rhythm of the music, I trot along. The merry-go-round turns. All these objects throw me into a life I don't yet have, but which are just a few millimetres from my hand. I stretch out my hand, almost reaching the item, and doubt comes over me. Is it the right colour, the right size, that will make me look good? What will other people think? Will it change my life? I hold it in my hand, and its silky, shiny, sparkling appearance is suddenly transformed into a terrifying piece of tab material. This wonderful image that I wanted to immerse myself in is just in the end an image. And in the reflection of the mirror, slightly stooped, I realise I'm not the charismatic actor in symbiosis with the actor. Just me, a little ridiculous, accosted by a foreign object. I throw off this garment and fled. But where to? Everything is built, designed, controlled and accessible. And if I should discover a hole in this fabric of current civilization, my phone would keep me from falling into the great void. It's the terrifying world of concrete reality, I don't know. An environment that is destructive, that doesn't allow for relativity. That frustrates me. It's imperfection, smell, temperature, wear and tear, the irreversible road to death. I look at this emptiness from afar. I approach it. I tame it. I love it. It becomes real to me, serene like the starry sky, the vertigo of of infinity. I've become a maker of emptiness. Of everyday objects I crafted. Our work is intended to be light, suspended, drawing the contours of an object around a great void. From the word void, multiple meanings arise art, serenity, spirituality, mutation, equanimity. This collection is rooted in the concept of emptiness because it's the way to more permanence. Permanence is the foundation that allows us to set in motion the world around us.